good look there at one of the newer stadiums in the big leagues, Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia, as MLB The Show gets set for this edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight it's game two of this three-game series, as it'll be the Florida Marlins taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. And welcome again, everybody, to our coverage of Major League Baseball. Matt Vaskersian here to call the balls and strikes. Alongside me, Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler. And Hud, let's turn to you. What catches your eye in a matchup like this one? Well, one guy that'll make an impact here is Chase Utley. This guy's about as consistent as they come. Know what his RBI totals have been the last few years? 105, 102, and 103. Now that is good production out of your second baseman. All right, Rex, and we'll hear from Dave in moments, but first let's get to our New Era Cap starting lineup as the visiting Florida Marlins line up like this. Hanley Ramirez will lead things off and be the shortstop. Cameron Maven, bat second, he'll be in center. Cortez will bat third and do the catching. Jeremy Ermita follows him out in right. Josh Willingham is the number five hitter. He's at first base. Dan Ugla will bat sixth and play second. Cody Ross will follow, having a tough time of late against left-hander, so we'll see how he responds. Jose Castillo will hit eighth and play third. Josh Johnson will be on the mound for the Marlins and bat number nine. And they'll be opposed by the ageless southpaw Jamie Moyer. Most guys tend to worry about losing velocity as they get older, but aside from maybe Tim Wakefield, there's not a pitcher in baseball that relies less on velocity to begin with. His ability to work the corners of the strike zone is about as advanced as you're going to find. A look at the Phillies alignment defensively, highlighted by first-time Gold Glove Award winner Jimmy Rollins out at shortstop. Coming fourth is the leadoff hitter Hanley Ramirez, and we are all set to go now from Philadelphia. And the first pitch of the ball game here is taken for a cold strike one. First pitch, seven on six. Now the pitch. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. And that's a tough pitch to lay off bearing down like that. This is bounced weakly down the line, a foul ball. Foul ball. Yo, and he lays off it to even the count two and two. And it's obvious they want to make him go down and get something because the last three have been down around the knees. Ball hit hard towards the hole, and that finds its way through. A leadoff single for Ramirez. Cameron Maben will be the batter. In there, strike one. Down and away, ball one. See if they try and stay out there again. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. A hold by Moyer, the pitch. And he takes strike three called on the fastball, one gone. Cortez will step in now, hoping to extend his hitting streak to eight games here. And this is going to be fouled into the diamond level seats. Now a ball lifted in the air to left 
field. Good carry on it. Back is Burl, but this one is gone. A home run. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. Eighth home run on the season for him. And the Marlins have taken a two-to-nothing lead. Swing and a ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. And, hmm, a ball outside, apparently, one and one. Boy, and already here in the top of the first, we're getting a sense that he's going to have a tight strike zone behind the dish. Hermita awaits the one, one. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. And he'll make you bring that fastball up a bit before he takes a whack at it. One out, nobody on. Hit hard to the left side. In there, a base hit. And with that, he'll stretch that hit streak as he's now hit in eight straight games. Josh Willingham will get his first opportunity now. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. He's set, now the pitch. And he misses with it, one and one. And a change up here as this ball's grounded foul. Runner at first here, one man out. Pause, now the pitch. Ground ball to second, this could be two. Rollins, back to Howard, but it's not in time to get them both. So it's a runner at first with two gone, and that'll bring in the powerful second baseman, Dan Ugla. First pitch coming. And he misses inside with that one. Ball one. Already 20 pitches here in the first. That's got to be a cause for concern. Right Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Throw on to the big fella Howard at first. And with that, the inning is over. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. The Marlins lead this one two to nothing. Starting lineup for Charlie Manuel's Phillies is as follows. Leading things off is the reigning MVP, Jimmy Rollins. He plays shortstop. Then comes Chase Utley. He'll be at second base. Ryan Howard will bat third. He's at first base. Free swinging Pat Burrell is next. He'll be out in left field. Jeff Jenkins is the right fielder hitting fifth. Shane Victorino follows out in center field. Wes Helms, the third baseman in the number seven hole. Number 13 will be behind the plate and hit eighth. And doing the pitching and batting ninth, veteran Jamie Moyer. Josh Johnson is on the mound here to face these guys. He's got the usual assortment of pitches, but keep an eye on him in the early going here. If these guys can get to him early, he does have a tendency to start overthrowing. And from there, that's when the problems usually arise. And in the field, Louisville Slugger shows us that the Marlins will align themselves like this. Ready to go now in the home half of inning number one as shortstop Jimmy Rollins makes his way toward the box. Now here's a ball hit 
high and deep to straightaway right field. And he's going to try and answer right back. Extra bases to start the home first. The relay throw. And he'll get there as he legs out the leadoff triple. Chase Utley. Chase Utley will be the batter. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1-0. Not a bad spot to miss. He might even go chase it out there. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Runner at third here, nobody out. Goes the other way as this is down the line at third. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Simple as that. Get yourself a guy on third to start the inning, and then the easy ground out brings him home. Ryan Howard digs in at the plate. Here's the first offering. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. And this guy comes off a nice ball game yesterday. Two knocks with one of them being a big fly. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. Just a challenge fastball right there, and he didn't want any part of it. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a grounder fouled, and that almost took the first base coach along with it. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. Two two is a changeup that misses three and two. Well, if he's got the confidence to throw it two and two, let's see if he throws it three and two. And bring him up. Strike three called on the fastball, and there are two gone. Here you go on pitch track. Let's see where this thing was. Mm, yep, that's down at the knees. You got a hack or they'll send you back. There's two strikes. Pat Burrell will get his first cuts here. Swing and a miss, but he's right on here. One strike. And this guy wore the collar yesterday, an 0 for 4 game. Two out, nobody on. And now a slider in on the hands, and he's lucky that one didn't come and get him. Now the 1-1. One, one. On that fastball's too much for him there. One and two. Just rearing back and throwing the heater by him right there.
Check swing. No swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. Yeah, almost into the inning right there. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So one run here, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We'll move to inning number two here in Philadelphia. The Marlins lead it two to one. Cody Ross leads things off now in the top half of the second. Here's the first offering. And there's a strike right down the heart of the plate, 0-1. has a chance and oh it's high off the foul pole for a home run so a solo shot down the line in left home run number five on the year as they extend the lead a bit it's now three to one swing and a high pop drifting into foul territory Howard is over, and he's got it for the first out of the inning. Josh Johnson will dig in here. Swing and a ball chop foul down the left side. Swing and a softly hit ground ball. And a throw over to Howard, and that's the second out. Back to the top of the order now, and at the plate is the young shortstop, Hanley Ramirez. First offering on the way. And that misses for ball one. And sometimes when you're a leadoff hitter, go ahead and take a pitch. Let your pitcher catch his breath for a second. And he goes down and gets this one as it's lifted high into the air out to medium deep center. Victorino will have room, though, as he makes the catch and the side is retired. So one run on one hit, which was the home run. No errors, and no one left on base. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. Florida's out in front, three to one. Jeff Jenkins will start things off in the bottom of the second. That's up and in for ball one. One zero on the way. And he watches one miss outside. Two and zero now. Grounded foul. Turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Now the 2-2 pitch. And that misses, so it's a full count, 3-2. and two. And if you throw enough fastballs in succession, guys are going to time it, so be careful. He takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. 
Shane Victorino will take his first cut to the ball game here. Pretty well hit out towards left center. And he will get there to make the running catch as that ball hung up just a little bit too long. Wes Helm will stand in for the first time here. Low for ball one. Grounded, fouled off to the right side. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. He's set, now the pitch. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. And a fastball runs in a bit too close for comfort that time. And you don't want hitters to fall into that comfort zone up there, so a good idea to run the fastball in that time. And a tough pitch on two strikes as he's able to foul it off. Swing and a miss on a pitch well out of the strike zone as he becomes the second out. Number 13 steps in now. And this is fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. And a fastball that misses badly there. It's one and one. just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. A runner on first with two away. Now a ground ball towards the hole. High throw, but he comes down with his foot on the bag as the side is retired. So they pick up no runs, no hits, no errors, and a runner left. We'll go now to the top of the third. The Marlins on top, three to one. Cameron Maben is ready to go here as we begin the third. Pitch to the plate as a sinker for a called strike one. And that almost had a little cutting action to it that time. And the pitch. Ball one. the opposite way and he will reach down to put this one away good job of hanging with it there for the first out Cortez will try things again he hit that two run homer his first time And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. Oh. Oh. 
The pitch is circle change just a bit inside, and it's 2-0 and now. And here's a case where you can just sit on fastball. If you don't get one, just take it. And there's a swing and a miss, 2-1 and one now. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground is short. And a throw over to Howard, and that's the second out. Jeremy Hermida will stand in. A base hit his first time around. Now the first pitch. And he lays off there, 1-0. Trying to work him down the zone. That's just where you need to keep that fastball. Two and zero. Ball three. And now on three and zero, we'll see if Freddie lets him swing away here. Up in the strike zone, but the take sign was on three and one. Oh, he's wishing that take sign wasn't on. Let me hack. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and it's full three and two. Bullet toward third. And this is going to be a fair ball as it'll head to the corner. He's around first on his way to second now. The relay. And he is safe at second base as he legs out a double. Well, Burrow's not the fastest guy in the world out there in left field, but I don't think it would have mattered a whole lot on this one as this was hit hard down the line and it winds up a double. Josh Willingham will stand in. He reached on a fielder's choice his first time. Hit hard, but foul. Back-to-back -back tough pitches, and he's down 0-2 now. Can't lay off now, down 0-2. Got to open up that zone a little bit and protect. He waits. Now the pitch. Now a swing and a little soft liner here. And this will be put away easily for the out. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. The Marlins lead this one 3-1. to one. Jamie Moyer makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. And he'll miss the target away with a fastball. It's 1-0. And 2-0 and now as this misses below the knees. And if you're going to miss with a fastball, that's the spot to do it. 2-0 well count, the pitch. And that's in there, 2-1. and one. Fastball and that ran in on him as he had to limbo out of the way that time. And too many three ball counts early in the ball game will just drive that pitch count up. Yeah. 
Swinging a ball line softly down the left field line. But a foul ball, and it's full now at three and two. And the fastball is lifted the other way out to left. Ani can't track it down as this ball falls. So it's back to the top of the order now. And that will bring in the MVP shortstop, Jimmy Rollins. Pretty well hit deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats foul. And he lays off for ball one. Yeah, tough to elevate on a fastball down there. That's a good spot to miss. And here's a swing and a Foul ball as that was just wide of the bag. He's ready now. The pitch. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air into foul territory behind first. Waiting on it is Willingham. One away. So one gone here in the Philadelphia third. And making his way in is the second baseman Chase Utley. Grounded foul toward the coaching box at third. Good change up there as he takes command 0 and 2. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. Uh, and that's going to fall. A base hit. So two men are on with one man out. And digging in, slugging first baseman Ryan Howard. does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. From the belt, the pitch. On the ground to second base. This could be two. Ramirez. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. So no runs here on two base hits. No errors. And a runner left on. Three innings complete. The Marlins lead it three to one. Dan Ugla will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. And he takes ball one. Pretty easy to lay off it when it's down that low. Here's the 1-0. And he watches a called strike as this one bears in on him. One and one. Fastball called strike. One and two. And is this due to statue up there? That's why you bring the lumber, amigo. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. Right, 
swing and the ball hit foul as this will find the seats in right. And this is hit hard on the ground at first. And a flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Cody Ross will see if he can do it again. He homered his first time around. Now here's the first pitch. Right there for strike one. Matt, he's living dangerously by working his fastball up in the zone like that. And there's ball one. Fastball runs in tight here, and it's 2-1. and one. Yeah, and after giving up the home run to him earlier, you can see he's trying to make adjustments out there on the mound. 3-1 to one is our score here in inning number 4. And he misses again, ball 3. Just got to concentrate on that glove in situations like this. Just get it over. Fastball is taken for a strike, and he runs it full three and two. Here's the payoff pitch. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. Up with it is Rollins. And a throw over to Howard, and that's the second out. Jose Castillo will dig in. He popped out in foul territory his first time. inside but that's ruled a strike nothing in one definitely inside looked like he lost the handle on a breaking pitch one and one and this is low ball two two and one and now if you can get this guy here, you'll be in a position where you'll have the pitcher leading off in the top of the fifth. Bases are empty here with two men out. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. And he's still yet to issue a free pass tonight, but he's a pitch away from his first right here. And this is down at the knees, but called a strike. Wow, it's three and two now. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Looked like ball four, but he'll make you swing the bat up there. Fastball too high, ball four. Josh Johnson will take his cuts now. Ball one. And he takes a cold strike one. Come set, now the pitch. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. 
throw is low and it gets by. Well, that'll keep the inning alive here. And anytime you start giving away outs, it puts a real strain on your pitching staff. Hanley Ramirez will step in. One for two in the ballgame. Now here's the first pitch. And this is hit hard on the ground towards short. And a dive by Rollins, but he can't come up with it. A base hit. No wasting any time there, Matt. He gets the fastball to begin the at-bat and just shoots it right back where it came from. Cameron Maben will dig in. He lined out hard in his last time around. in there. Base hit. Cortez will try it again. He homered back in the first inning of this one. And here's a fastball that swung on and lifted down the left field line. And Burl will tuck this one away, and the side is retired. So one run on two hits, one error, and three men left stranded. To the bottom of inning number four we go. The Marlins on top, four to one. Pat Burl will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Change up too low and it's one and oh. Now the one oh pitch. Now a good pitch on the inside part of the plate ties him up and it's one and one. Not often you're late on the change up. He's got to make up his mind quicker. This is low, ball two, two and one. And just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. And a foul ball straight back. This one sinks low on a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. Now the three and two pitch. And he'll fight just to stay alive here as this is fouled away. Hit hard but fouled off to the left and that'll keep you honest as a third base coach. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts at the bottom of the fourth. Jeff Jenkins will stand in. He drew base on balls his first time. Here's the first pitch. Just off the outside, and it's 1 0. And it's a called strike to even the count at 1. 4 to 1, our score as we play inning number 4. Here's the 1 1. One and two. And a 
change up. Swung on and missed for the first down. So a runner at first with one man gone. And here's the versatile outfielder Shane Victorino. Change up a little bit inside, 1-0. and And I think that he might have fooled him a bit, but he couldn't quite catch the inside corner. Swing and a miss for strike one. Runners on first with one down. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Yeah, looking to run that thing back to the low inside corner, but that's not one guys will chase very often. A 2-1 offering. Over at the knees, and that's the second strike. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Wes Helms will be the batter. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Got to look to try and slap that thing the other way. The 1-0 pitch. 2-0. Two out with the man at first. And this is going to be fouled into the diamond level seats. Here's the 2-1 pitch. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind 3-1. and one. Next pitch from Johnson will be his 74th of the ball game. Swing and a shot toward right center. And that gets down. And now let's see... Relay home. And safe at the plate as he just gets in ahead of the tag. And he is in there with an RBI triple. Number 13 will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And a tough slider there as he grounds it foul. to get him to go after the slider but it's one and one and this is a guy you want because you'd love to have the pitcher leading off in the bottom of the fifth and this one's up around the eyes two and one and now you've got to make sure you can strand that runner at third base In there, base hit, and that ought to get the run in from third. Well, you'll see, this fastball catches far too much of the plate. You're just feeding a batter's strength when you leave it there. Jamie Moyer will dig in. He singled his first time around. Try to take control of the inside part of the plate with the fastball as he backs him off a bit. And he looks at a changeup in there, one and one. One one on the way. 
Ah, and that fastball's too much for him there, one and two. Yeah, normally not a great spot, but with the pitcher at the plate, it's okay to challenge him there. A runner on first with two away. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. On to the top of inning number five we go. Florida's out in front, four to three. Jeremy Hermida will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. In there for strike one, 0 oh and one. Here's the pitch. And here's a sinker that had a little bit too much dart to it there as it just about came in and nailed him. And a fastball not close. It's two and one now. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. No foul ball. Two two pitch on the way. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. Well, anytime a guy goes two for two off, you know it's time to mix things up a bit on the mound, and this time at least he was able to get the better of him. Josh Willingham will dig in, 0 for 2 thus far. Swing hard liner to left center. And a leaping effort there, but it's over his head into left center, a base hit. Dan Ugla will step in, a ground out victim as last time. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. This is on the ground to short. Could be two. Relay to Howard, and it's in time. The double play, that ends the inning. Marlins down quietly, but they hold on to a 4-3 lead. Jimmy Rollins will step in, one for two in the ball game. Nowhere close with the fastball to begin the at bat, it's ball one. Now a swing and a hard hit ball back through the box. And that is going to get on through. A leadoff single here for Rollins. Chase Utley will step in. A base hit in his last time. Throw over to first. Almost caught him leaning that time. There goes Rollins. Pitch outside. The throw. 
And it's going to be in time. Perfect call on the pitch out, and Rollins had no shot. Well, they guessed right on the pitch out right there, and this guy has just hung out to dry. Got him out on his front foot there as it swung on and missed for strike one. Swing and a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that finds its way into center for a one out base hit. Ryan Howard will dig in. 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. At first is Utley, the pitch. And, hmm, not quite sure what was wrong with that one, but it's 1-0. and oh. And, folks, those might be the calls you get when they put you on the cover of the game. Ooh, and he finds his spot there, 1-1. One and one. And there's about 40,000 umpires in the house that think otherwise. pitch here as this one's to the backstop and it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw and he misses low here so the count goes to three and one in there on the hands three and two now making him throw a lot of pitches this at bat let's see if he's got him figured out one out and a runner on second base come set now the pitch and that misses ball four so it's first and second now with only one away The further he goes in this one, the more this is going to happen. You can see it on the screen. He's up over 90 pitches here, so the tank's running awfully low right now. So first and second with one man gone, and that will bring in the powerful left fielder, Pat Burrell. Good fastball out of Johnson there, and it's strike one. for a ball one and one and he'll sling that thing across the strike zone but he can't nip the corner and a fastball there is inside as that one backed him up a bit slider is looked at for a called strike two runners are at first and second with one away here's the two and two offering and he just does manage to fight this one off as it's fouled away that's a foul ball And this ball is also hit foul and heading for the seat, so we'll have to do it again. Still two and two. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Oh, and these two guys are locked in a battle now. He's 
ready, now the pitch. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Oh, and he had to throw a lot of pitches to get him out there. And when you've already thrown a lot of pitches in a ball game, that can really take a lot out of you. A new pitcher is set to go now as we'll get a look at the Venezuelan-born left-hander, Reniel Pinto. Jeff Jenkins will get another shot. Struck out swinging his last time. Lays off the slider. Don't know quite where that missed, but it's 1-0. The next pitch. Here's the ball hit high in the air and fairly deep toward the right field corner. And Hermida will camp under this one as he puts it away to retire the side. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We're through five here at the ballpark. The Marlins lead this one four to three. And before the Marlins take their turn here in the sixth inning, let's take a moment to check their in-game box score through five innings. It's presented by Upper Deck. Cody Ross will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning as we flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. And that misses inside 1-0. and In tight with the sinker, ball two. Line softly to the right side, but a foul ball, and it's two and one now. Now a ball hit on the ground for Rollins at short. Throw won't be in time as he reaches it first. Call to the bullpen complete as the right-handed workhorse Ryan Madsen set to take over. Jose Castillo will dig in. He walked and later scored last time. And he misses inside with that one. Ball one. Well, he's hitless so far as he looks to push his hitting streak to seven games. is upstairs 2 and 0 oh. and you've got the pitcher on deck so if you lose this guy it's okay <laughs> fouled straight back <laughs> a ground ball to third and they could get two Utley for one over to Howard, and indeed, they get them both. Well, you want to talk about making your skipper look like a genius? First guy he faces after coming into the game, bang, a double play ball. Someone just earned some brownie points. Raniel Pinto will stride to the box as he gets ready for his first A.B. of the year. off a pitch in there for the first strike. And this has been a great inning out of the pen. Let's see if he can finish it strong. 
Now here's the pitch. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. And you can tell he wanted to go after that one, but he wisely hangs back. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Inside paint. Tough to get the barrel through on that one. Starting to go around, but it's a called third strike anyway, and that will retire the side. So no runs or hits here, as the error turns out to be unimportant. Six, seventh, and eighth place hitters due up in the bottom of inning number six. The Marlins lead it four to three. And before the fight and fills come to the plate, it's time once again to check out the numbers on our in-game box score. Shane Victorino will be the batter as we get things going in the bottom of the sixth. First pitch coming. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. Lays off a fastball that doesn't miss by much, and it's 2-0. and And just eyeballing it from up here, he doesn't have the look of a guy that's totally warm yet. 2-1 and one now. And this guy's 0-6 for 6 in the series thus far, so he's got to be about due to come through. Grounded foul. And a little battle brewing here as he fights off the two-strike pitch and chops it foul. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. Swing a ball hit in the air to right field and deep back is the right fielder, but he will look up and watch this one sail out of here. A solo home run here for Shane Victorino, number 14 on the season, as that'll pull him even at four apiece. Well, here in the middle innings now, we're right back where we started from. Good at bat there, and we're all tied again. Wes Helms will be the batter. One for two, including a triple thus far. First pitch to him. And this ball will be chopped foul. That ball is foul. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. And if he's smart on the mound, don't expect to see this one anywhere near the zone. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. Just good pitching there. They establish the off-speed pitch for strike one, then come back with two heaters to sit him down. Number 13 will dig in, one for two thus far. Ball hit high to the right side, but this will get into the seats foul. That ball's foul. Here it comes. Outside for a ball, one and one. Oh, that's tantalizing for a hitter, but he was wise to hold back. Lays off the slider that time, two and one. Fouled straight back. Nope, foul ball. Swing 
swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Ryan Madsen will step in now. Now the first pitch. Swing and a ball line softly down the right field line. But that'll land foul strike one. Swung on and lifted in the air to left. Ross is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So it's one run on one base hit, the home run, no errors, and no one left. We're through six full and we are tied 4 4. Hanley Ramirez will get another shot now, two for three in the game. Here's the first offering. There's a strike at the knees, 0 and 1. Swing and a hot shot down the line. But this will be speared at third, and that was self defense all the way. One gone. The city of brotherly love, Philadelphia, PA, as we welcome you inside the broadcast booth. Matt Vaskersian, Dave Campbell, Rex Hudler bringing this one your way. So one away now, and here's Cameron Mabin. Now the fastball here is swung on and grounded foul. Now, pitch on the way. In there, and he's ahead 0-2 now. And he missed with it. It's 1-2. and two. And that's a good two-strike pitch there, as now it might be just to set up something away. This will find the seats behind the first base dugout. And he gets under this one a bit as this is lifted into center field. And a fine play there as he's able to corral this one on the move for the second out. Well, that's four straight he's retired since coming in. Good work out of the pen thus far. Cortez will try it again. He homered back in the first inning of this one. First pitch coming. And this will be fouled away. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. And they could certainly use another home run out of him right here. One one pitch and a nice call for the change. It's one and two. Side. Two balls and two strikes the count now. The 2-2 two -two coming. Takes a good swing, but this will be a foul ball. And an off-speed pitch. Swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. So they go quietly here in this half inning. Bottom of the seventh now. Get up and stretch here in Philly. And we are tied 4-4. Jimmy Rollins will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh.
Now a slider, and he gets ahead of him here, 0-1. Watches one dip low and inside for a ball, one and one. Hit the nope. target, but this is low, two and one. Swing, hot shot to the left side. And that's going to be a base hit, so the possible go-ahead run is on here to start the home half of the seventh. Chase Sutley will dig in. He singled his last time around. changed up on him here but this is a foul ball fastball that time is nowhere close and it's even at one and one and if they try and come back in with another fastball I wouldn't be surprised if he's waiting on that baby go ahead runs aboard here at first with nobody out the check on Rollins now the pitch now a swing and a miss and he's behind one and two and he's living dangerously now. He won't keep getting away with that location. There goes Rollins. Pitch misses low. The throw down. And it is too late as Rollins is able to take second here. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. towards center and that's in there base hit and the runner is in from second third hit of the ball game for him all of them singles and he's certainly been a tough out to this point Ryan Howard will stand in base on balls his last time ball to second this could be two and that's through for a base hit so that'll go down as an E4 as he certainly had his problems that time at second base so with a lefty waiting they'll go to a lefty of their own out of the bullpen here Runners at the corners now. Nobody out. And here comes the powerful Pat Burrow. Lays off 1-0. and And this is one of the few guys in the lineup that has not joined the hit parade so far. Runners are at first and third with none out. Now it's 2-0. and oh. I you just can't do that in this situation. And that one's wide of the mark. Ball three. And he's working hard from the neck up right now. And that's over three and one. And boy, did he have to have a strike there. Here's a swing and a high pop-up out in front of the mound. 
Willingham is under it, and he's got it for the first down. Jeff Jenkins will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. First offering on the way. 4-1. And that's what that four-seamer will do. It has a tendency to really rise at the end. Misses again, 2-0. And, oh. and you can see, the more stressed he gets out there, the tighter he grips that baseball. Two oh is a fastball, not close. He's behind 3-0 and oh now. with it, ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. And a new pitcher making his way toward the mound. It's the hard-throwing right-hander, Matt Lindstrom. Shane Victorino will stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle innings. This was a turning point here. A solo home run that was really one of the key at-bats of the ball game to this point. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. And, and this is their fourth pitcher of the night, so there's not much left after this. And he'll try to take control of the inside part of the plate here as that misses. Now the one and one pitch. Now a swing and he pops him up. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. Willingham takes charge and he's got it. Two down. A little over anxious there as he sent that one straight into the air. The infield fly rule will keep the runners right where they are. West Helm will get another crack, one for three thus far. First pitch on the way. Right-hander against right-hander, as this is a ball, 1-0. and oh. Remember, he had that triple earlier. You can bet he'd love just a single here. Good zip on that one as he just throws it by him for strike one. And that one had some real zip to it. And quick wrists here as this is yanked down the third base line. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. So two runs on two hits, one error in the inning, and two men left on base. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Phillies lead it 6-4. to four. New pitcher coming into the game now, and it's Flash right-hander Tom Gordon. Jeremy Hermida will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. And that misses ball one. That home plate umpire is hearing it in both ears now. And this is sliced hard down the left field line. And the eighth will start with a bang as this should be extra bases. The relay. But it won't be in time and it's a leadoff double. Josh Willingham will get another crack. One for three thus far. This is pulled down the third base line. Throw on to first in time, one away. 
Our line score to this point tells the story. You see the Phillies leading this one at home here at Citizens Bank Park as we draw nearer to the end. Dan Ugla will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. And that misses for ball one. One oh on the way. And he falls behind now, two and oh. Runner at second here with one man out. And he swings right through it there, two and one. Here's the two and one pitch. Now a swing and a sharp ground ball toward the hole. Only play will be to the pitcher covering and the runner will advance to third now. Well, he takes away a hit here. Have a look at this. He's got to stretch out to get the thing and then pop into throwing position to get his man at first. And we're going to see a pinch hitter in this spot as the right-handed batting Jorge Cantu has moved into the on-deck circle. Gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Slider taken here. One ball, one strike. And that misses two and one. Ready with the 2-1. And the slider hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. Leaps and he makes the catch. He took away a home run. Wow. Marlins leave one. They trail it here 6-4. Scott Pitsednik come into the ballgame as a defensive upgrade. Number 13 will dig in. Strikeout victim is last time. Number 13. Starts him out with a slider too low for ball one. lays off again and it's 2-0. and oh. And these guys have been very patient with that slider away. They have not chased very often. And he gets the slider over here. It's 2-1 and one now. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's three and one. 98? He put a little Tabasco on that one. Stop by the post office to get stamps on the way to mailing in that swing. It's three and two now. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Yuck. And he looks at one that misses for ball four, so the leadoff man is on here to get the inning underway. Tried to get him to chase a slider off the plate on three and two, and we'll see how close this thing was. And yeah, it was close, but definitely ball four.
Greg Dobbs will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. First pitch coming. Too low, 1 0. In for a strike, it's 1 and 1. Just no way to even try and get extended on that fastball down there. Swing and a ball chopped foul down the left side. Nobody out, runner on first. Swing and a miss, so the pinch hitter is retired. So a runner at first now with one away, and it's back to the top of the lineup now for Jimmy Rollin. Now here's the first pitch. And there he goes towards second. Line hard to center field. And that'll get down for a base hit. And he is safe on a close play. Shea Sutley will step in. An RBI single this last time around. Goes the other way with a fastball, and this is in the air out to left. But Sednik is there. Let's see if they test it. Now it's cut off. A throw to the plate. And not nearly in time as the run scores easily. Ryan Howard will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. Side the throw, not in time, and Rollins has got himself another stolen base. Inside, and he falls behind the hitter now, two and zero. Oh. And now Howard can lock in on one spot with his two and zero oh count. Spins and pulls this one down the line at first. And he'll take it to the bag himself. That'll do it for this half of the inning. So a run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. Ninth inning coming up. Phillies lead this one 7-4. And who better to try and close this one out than the hard-throwing right-hander Brad Lidd. Jose Castillo will be the batter. 0 for 2 with a walk thus far. Ninth inning underway as the first pitch misses for ball one. And now you just got to worry about getting on base. That tying run still in the hole. And a fastball that's about off the radar screen there. It's 2-0. Not exactly what you want when you're trying to close out a ball game. He just can't find the strike zone yet. Here's the 2-0 pitch. Now a swing as he hits this one into the air. But this will be foul off to the right out of play. Two one pitch is a fastball off the plate away, and it's three and one now. He's got to find a way to get on any way he can. Oh. 
in there for a called strike. Three and two now. Now the three and two pitch. Just does stay alive as this is foul back. Foul ball. A swing and a ball hit back up the box. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Alfredo Omezaga will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Swing and the ball lifted in the air to straightaway right. Jenkins is right there as he takes it for the second out. Hanley Ramirez will stand in as their last chance now. Now here's the first pitch. And a ball 1-0. and And he's working on save number 34 if he can finish things off. And here's a fastball that's nowhere near the zone. It's 2-0 now. And on 2-0, you should probably be taking here. You've got to have base runners. Strike called, 2-1. And Ramirez will just try and work his way aboard here. It's three and one. Yeah, guys might chase a slider down and away, but not a fastball. And a fastball misses their ball four. Well, they've got a three-run lead here, so it's not imminent danger yet. But boy, you really need to be able to throw strikes here. When you start walking guys this late in the game, it is never a good sign. Cameron Maben will stand in. He flew out his last time up. And that misses inside 1-0. and And now if he can get on, he's got a chance to make this interesting. Set is Lidge, the pitch. On a great pitch there, caught him reaching. It's one and one. Oh, just committed himself a little too early. Wound up chasing it. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Pitches hit foul off to the left and out of play, so the count goes to two and two now. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. The runner at first has got to make sure he's going to the plate before he breaks. Three two pick. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Cortez will try it again. He homered back in the first inning of this one. And a fastball, very easy to lay off that one. It's ball one. And keep in mind, there's speed on the bases here. Here's the 1-0. And that's off the plate and high. 2-0 now. And this is the wrong guy to lose your command to. They need to go right after him. Two men are on with two men out. 
And he misses again with it here. It's 3-0 and now. And now he's really got to reach back and find it here. Taking all the way, and it's 3-1 and one now. He got away with one there. Even 3-0, and oh, you're taking a big chance laying it in there like that. Here he comes, 3-1. Oh, and a swing and a miss on that one. And the Marlins find themselves down to their final strike now. And with two down now, those runners should be on their way with the pitch here. And that miss is ball four. And he's going to need to settle down in a hurry now because he's in a peck of trouble. Well, the last thing a manager wants to happen in this spot is to have his pitcher suddenly lose the strike zone and put the possible tying run on base. He's starting to paint himself into a corner now. Jeremy Hermida will step in now with the possible tying run on first as they try to claw their way back in this thing. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. Two runs of score. Josh Willingham will stride in, grounded out his last time through. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. And if this isn't a great baseball game, I don't know what is. From the belt. Kicks and deals. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Yeah, trying to get him to reach for one, but he held back. Grounded foul toward the coaching box at third. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. Big spot. Two out. Possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. They'll try again. One, two. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Ah, and this could wind up being a make-or-break pitch right here. And he struck him out. And the ball game is over as they get the possible tying run over the third but can't get him across. So a victory here for the fighting Phils. And Dave, let's go back and check out our new era cap heads up play of the game. Well, this was one of the shakier saves you're going to see. He comes in with a three run lead and gives two of them back. But he's able to hold on and get the final out. Game winning hit actually came back in the seventh inning as it brought in the go ahead run. And they never looked back from there. Fine performance turned in by the guy you see right there, Chase Utley. He's our upper deck player of the game. Yeah, Matt, a three-hit ball game for him, and a couple of those were key hits as he swung the bat very well in this one. So that brings us to the conclusion of this one. For my colleagues Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler and all of us here at the show, this is Matt Vaskersian saying thanks for joining us here this evening. Once again, our final score, the Phillies win this one 7-6. This has been a presentation of MLB 08 The Show. For more, log on to MLB08.com. Good night, everybody.